for the Republicans to now claim that we send a bill back to committee under the skies of protecting life is disingenuous. That is Stupak calling Republicans disingenuous after the health care bill passed. Obama took it a step further and said anyone who is say, stating that there would be money from federal dollars going for abortions was bearing false witness. I showed you this earlier, but here it is one more time. There are some folks out there who are frankly bearing false witness, but I want everyone to know what health insurance reform is all about. You've heard that this is all going to, uh, to mean government funding of abortion. Not true. This is all, uh, these are all fabrications that have been put out there in order to discourage people from meeting what I consider to be a, a core ethical and moral obligation. Well, I sure would like the president to explain what's happening in Pennsylvania then with the uh, HHS and also in New Mexico where federally funded abortions will begin. When is it, August? Bearing false witness. Wow, what an interesting choice of words, Mr. President. I was hoping that I was wrong. I was hoping that I was wrong. How many times in this program saying, I hope that I'm wrong. I also told you that this bill was about redistribution of wealth and again called a hater, called a liar, called all kinds of things for implying that Obama was a socialist who wanted redistribution of wealth. Well, here he is hiring now the guy to head up the biggest part of government, health care, Medicare and Medicaid. Here's his new pick. Any health care funding plan that is just, equitable, civilized and humane must, must redistribute wealth from the richer among us to the poorer and the less fortunate. And of course, excellent oh. health care is by definition redistributional. Mm -hmm. And of course, you had the New York Times who waited a full two days until after the bill passed to inform you that surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've just voted for massive redistribution of wealth. So who's telling the truth here? We said the health care bill would cost more than they were promising it would cost. We said, they were, uh, we said that they were uh, fudging the numbers. They said we were blocking progress and standing in the way of reform. Well, wouldn't you know it? The CBO came two months after the passage of the bill and said the bill is going to cost $115 billion more than we thought. Why? Well, if you watch this show, you knew. Because congressional and administrative game playing with a doctor fix. Again, who was telling the truth and who was bearing false witness? We knew the extra cost was there. We told you they sold you a bill of goods. This is why the president has told you before not to watch TV. Don't watch TV. Too much information out there could get con too confusing. That's why they're trying to control the Internet. Instead, you know what you should do? You should just check out my favorite source, the Huffington Post. That's what he told you to do. Is the Huffington Post reporting on this stuff today? Or I don't know. I don't check them out. We hold their feet to the fire, and we will do it to our last breath. This is why they don't want you to watch. In fact, if you think it's just him that said that, here's the latest from Van Jones on the Don't Watch Cable News bandwagon. That little idiot box squawking in the corner, trying to depress you and, and, and make you feel like this is a horrible country and everybody believes evil things about the president, and everybody this and everybody that, it's just not true. Cut it off. Just cut it off. Yeah, they don't want you to watch. Liars and thieves, I think, usually like to carry out their thievery in the darkness. There's more next.